Look how lazy I am. The f okay, this is curled, this is curled. This is straight. <laughs> so the thing is, is that I already filmed this video, but I lost all the footage because my laptop is no longer with us. It's kind of, it's kind of a, a hard subject for me to talk about right now. So we're just gonna go through this review as if it's the first time that I'm filming this. So today we're reviewing the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Look at this packaging, this is so cute, nude, and wow, this is so surprising. So it comes in the oil-free formula and it comes in the regular formula. Now, I already, like I said, I already filmed this and I have very strong opinions, but because my opinions are so strong, I wanted to film this again and do this again because this is an important video to make, okay? I'm gonna try them both on either side of my face. We're gonna see what happens. I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out. So, okay, I don't know why I did this, but I got one in the color sand and one in the color tawny. I don't know why I did that. I also got them both in a travel size. So this is really cool. They have a travel size and then they have a larger size. So this is what the travel size looks like and it's a really good size for me at least because I don't go through that much foundation, especially of a tinted moisturizer. You just kind of like want a little bit. I think this is perfect. This is gonna be something that is probably gonna go bad before I can even use it. So this is a perfect size for me. We're gonna try both on my face right now and we're gonna see how we feel about it. So I'm gonna prime my face with Morphe's Continuous Setting Spray, just to give a little bit of like life and moisture to my skin. On my left side, your right side, I'm gonna do the oil-free one. Wow, look at this texture. This is so interesting. It's like a tinted moisturizer, but it's not runny at all. Oh my God, crazy, it's so creamy. So that's probably exactly what I said the first time I filmed this, but I'm just gonna dip in with a brush and see how we like the coverage. While I'm doing my makeup, let's talk about the claims. So the tinted moisturizer, the oil-free one, says that it's gonna give you a flawless, no makeup makeup type of a look. It says that it controls shine, but the nice thing is, is that it does have 20 SPF. It says that it gives you a sheer, natural, demi-matte finish. It did a pretty good job of covering. <laughs> this feels so stupid. I've heard, I'm like saying these things twice, but you guys are saying this for the first time. So it did do a pretty good job of covering, but I feel like I'm gonna have to layer it up. And actually the oil-free version is a very, very dewy, like a lot dewier than I expected. So if it's not oil, then what is it, baby? So we're gonna do the non-oil-free version. We're gonna do the regular version on this side and see how we feel. This actually has a bit of a higher SPF. This has SPF 30, which is really great. And it says that it gives you 24 hour hydration. It says that it gives you a sheer dewy finish. And it also gives you flawless, no makeup makeup. Like even that I'm trying this again for the second time, the oil-free foundation is so much more dewy than the regular version. So if you are an oily skin person and you're trying to get rid of that shine or that glow, this is not gonna be for you. We're gonna add on a second layer because this is kind of sheer. And just see like how it builds up because my redness definitely is peeking through. I've got some freckles peeking through. Something I noticed from the last time that I filmed, like this stuff oxidizes like crazy. Like this is going on pretty sheer, or sorry, this is going on pretty light and I wasn't sure whether it would be my shade, but it melted down and it's like my perfect shade. Um, into my skin and it got a lot deeper as it sat on my face. Okay, so the foundation is on. This is what it looks like It is giving me glow. It's giving me coverage So I'm very happy with the way that it's looking on the skin Like my skin looks very healthy and it looks very natural and I can see this being perfect If you're like a makeup artist and you want to stock some colors in your kit But you don't want to do like the whole shade range, right? So you can do these and it can hit like a few different skin tones and not have to be exact. I'm like really loving it, even for the second time now. Um, my only complaint, what is my only complaint? I, you know what, I don't really have a complaint. All right, so I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I will give you my final thoughts. So that's it, this is the final face. I actually decided to skip doing my brows because I'm gonna do my brows for another video. I'm gonna be reviewing the Patrick Ta Brow Lamination. So if you wanna see that, make sure that you're hitting subscribe so that you see that video next week. Overall, my thoughts on this foundation. Okay, do I think you like need to run out and buy it? Like, no. Is it like a run, don't walk? 
type of a situation like no you know it's a good foundation it really really is but there are so many good other foundations out there this is nothing that's like revolutionary and you need to just kind of like get your hands on it and try it not really i don't know if i'd necessarily repurchase it i would imagine that by that point something else will have piqued my interest and i'll be interested in something else so hopefully this has been helpful hopefully this has helped you make a decision whether you want to get this foundation or not other than that, make sure that you are hitting subscribe because I'm dropping new videos every week. If you like to see fashion videos and if you like to see makeup reviews, videos just like this, make sure that you're hitting subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.